boy, nothing better than common to get you ready for the OG classic, Super Bowl of HBCU, 50th annual Bayou Classic. You heard it there, Southern leads by one. They won it last year, 25-24. They've won four of the last five. So Grambling with their head coach, Hugh Jackson, facing off against Terrence Graves for Southern. He was the head coach of Grambling on an interim basis two years ago, <laughs> beating Southern in the Bayou Classic. The only one to win as a head coach on both sides could be done here this afternoon with Javon Robinson taking a knee, 25-yard line for Grambling State to begin the 50th Bayou Classic here at the Caesar Superdome. So they bring in a couple of bigger bodies at tight end, to your point, to help move those Southern Interior defensive linemen. From the gun, first and goal, handoff. No, check it, it's a keep. Wow, he fooled everybody, including me, Miles Crawley, touchdown. That was a well-executed fake, and Crawley, his third rushing touchdown this season. Extra point rinker does go through. So Grambling State, first touchdown of the 50th annual Bayou Classic. Bowden with Rhymes next to him. Throws a slant to the far side on a target. Touchdown, Darren Morris. Working on the outside, you see him stair step. The defender worked towards the inside. A quick strike from Noah Bowden. A little backflip for Ooh. good measure. Another stand down from Baton Rouge, Darren Morris. Freshman getting some love on the sideline. But Joshua Griffin to kick the extra point. Great job by Boakland to get the wide snap. It's up, it's through. Southern and Grambling died at seven. New York guy has now played for both of these schools in the rivalry matchup. Second down and goal, hands it to Rhymes, dances in. There's the signature home run swing celebration. One of his best friends is former Grambling running back, Martez Carter. And that was his signature, so Rhymes decided to take it and use it for the other side of the rivalry. To mentally and physically, emotionally recover to be prepared for this stage today. 14-7, it's Southern. Scored the last two touchdowns, so here's the run by Rhymes. Great movement up front from the offensive line. They watched the pile, swinging for the fences. Kendrick Rhymes. Has missed five of the 12 field goals attempted this year. Low kick, slow kick, and it's blocked. Do they stay in? Yes. Morcel down the sideline. No one will catch him. A blocked field goal return for a touchdown, Dimitri Morcel. And once again, Southern at the Bayou Classic gets a non-offensive touchdown. You'll see all the pressure come from the right side of the protection. The block happens off the right foot of Rinker or fortuitous bounce. And Morcel just narrowly able to keep those feet in bounds. And you've got basically big bodies there. The field goal protection unit are normally tight ends, linebackers, offensive, defensive linemen. You got a defensive back with a head start. There is no one on the field qualified to catch this jag. And then an incredible effort by Morcel to stay inbounds. 21-7. Grambling State jumped in front seven to nothing. Southern responded with two touchdown drives and then the swing moments right at the end of the half a block field goal returned by a touchdown Dimitri Morcel. Grambling State jumped in front seven to nothing. Southern responded with two touchdown drives and then the swing moments. Bowden on first down. So Bowden his first Southern start Anthony what do you think of him in the first half? Impressed with the control, the anticipation that he threw the football with, seems to be in command of things on the field to the point where they're willing to go tempo. 
That tempo's a handoff to Rhymes, like a track meet. 20-yard line, stumbles a bit, but that doesn't matter. What an explosive run by Kendrick Rhymes of 73 yards. The home run hitter is firing on all cylinders. So many bodies near the line of scrimmage for Grambling State. And Lewis Matthews has been their do-it-all guy at the second level. So it went with a three-man front. Once they block Matthews, though, there is no safety support. The run game for the Jaguars was non-existent in the first half. Here opening up half number two, Kendrick Grimes takes it the distance. Kendrick Grimes, second touchdown. And the extra point is blocked. So each team gets a block kick in this game. After a four-yard pickup through the air on first down, and second down and six, it's intercepted. The throw on the out is picked. Andrew Jones has a pick six matching the back of his jersey. 41 yards, and that's how Grambling State gets back in it. They change the flow of the game. They get in on defense. Uh, our uh, Rinker's extra point goes through 27 14. Oh, preseason. In it. Sorry, Chris. Preseason SWAC Defensive Player of the Year is Sonny Anderson. He's right there at the snap of the football. Protection goes in that direction. It looked like for some reason the offensive tackle thought the QB would shade in that direction. He didn't. It gave a clear path to Anderson. And Andrew Jones, the Memphis transfer, able to take advantage of that, picks it, puts it into the paint for the Tigers. Things can change in this game in an instant. Beauplan pressured, but a whistle before the punt. His knee was down in the end zone, so he went down low to grab it. His knee hits the ground, and that's a safety. Talk about things changing. That's two points for Grambling. We're referencing the special teams excellence of Terrence Graves' teams at multiple stops. His all swag snapper and his all swag punter not able to execute here, backed up. Braxton Blackwell, the long snapper, second team all swag last season. Big expectations there, preseason as well. Chalk is the running back. Quiet in motion. Chalk off left side, powerful legs to drive into the end zone for the touchdown. What a game for Floyd Chalk. 140 yards, and now that touchdown. This ends up being a counter play working back toward the boundary side of the field. Making history as the first coach to lead his team to victory on each sideline for both the G-Men and the Jags in the Bayou Classic. That should be the last kneel down, a push. After the fact, don't need any of that. Fun football game, competitive to the very end. And Terrence Graves, familiar feeling, but on the different sideline. Southern, victorious in the 50th annual Bayou Classic.